Echando coces y coscobillando, corre muchacho, yo la corrí, y a la muchacha, yo la fui al pelé, eche el cabrezo, eso no sé, y si no sabes te enseñaré ya el modo viejo, oh. como yo sé. <risa> My friends. We make fiesta in honor of my son, Ramon, who tomorrow goes on a long journey. When he returns to us from Sevilla, he will be a, a Spanish gentleman. Such is my decision after grave thought. Am I not acting wisely? Viva! Don Francisco. Si, Pancho. I have served you for many years. But I, for one, do not believe in the wisdom of sending the boy to be educated in Spain. Of what use is the education of a Spanish gentleman here? May I have my word, Father? But of course, my son. I wish to have the education of a Spanish gentleman because of the example set me by my father. I say let him remain a Californiano. In time, he will forget us and our ways. Not forget the ways, the Californiano. Viva! Viva Ramon, el Californiano! These things are important, Rosalia, and I must leave them in your charge. Yes, my mom. When I am far across the sea, I shall not be able to attend to these matters. No, mom. I have spoken to your mother, and she has given her consent. You may come here each day. Yes, my mom. Of all my pets, remember most especially the owl. Every day, one small mouse. But, Ramon, I do not like mice. El Tecalote must have his mouse. Yes, Ramon. <laughs> never, never, my friend. The Americanos come as far west as California. Oh, but no, it is not possible, Senor Miller. You do not know Americans, Don Francisco. They will come, many of them. <laughs> oh, no. My husband should know Don Francisco. Is he not an Americano also? I had forgotten, Senora. But what should we fear from the Americanos? Are they not your people? I have seen Americanos. They, they are fine people, but many of them are not peaceful. Always they shoot each other with the pistola. So. <laughs> Adios, chiquito. May you walk with God, my son. Ramon. Thank you, Rosalia. Adios, Ramon. Adios, Rosalia. Ramon. 
You will not forget. Oh, favor, do not ask him that. <laughs> Adiós, Ramón. Adiós, 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 Ramón. This gives us control of the Garcia Rancho, the mine at Aliso. How about the Romero cattle? To serve notice on Romero this morning. Yes, for a little time and a time. Time? Are you getting soft-hearted? Go bring in those cattle. This you say, Todd. Hey, boy. Yes, Todd. You and Murphy go with them. Senorita Miller. You look so beautiful riding by. You made me leave my business to tell you so. And then I have Dallas done some for Californiano a great favor. Senorita? In the past, the Californianos lived for the pleasure of living. Now they live only to pay taxes. We must have improvements. Good roads, new buildings. It's necessary to collect taxes. Land. And where are these new roads and all that was to be done with the money, Mr. Barstow? It takes time, uh, naturally. Uh, I hear there's a ship newly anchored in the bay. Do you know she could be from Spain? The captain has not yet been rowed to shore, so we do not know. Perhaps they can tell me it's Embarcadero. She comes from Spain. Only three months from Spain. The captain's boat. No, no. Arrived. The captain's on the second boat. And the first is a great grande, a governor or a prince. He comes alone with his baggage. Much baggage. Here, you hold this. Yes, yes, Be careful. Yes, uh -huh. Oh, Don Ramon. It is he. It is who? And look, that beautiful hat. Look. You like that hat? Oh. Oh. Oh, senor. For you. For me. Si. Oh. Oh. Rosalia. You remember. As though one could look into those eyes and forget. Very pretty speech, senor. Did you each day give him one little mouse? <laughs> oh, Ramon. And now we'll see my father, and after that we'll see your people. Then we'll have dancing, wine, music, now, everything. Ramon, may I present Mr. Barstow? Senor, welcome home, senor. Had we known you were returning in such uh, splendor, we'd have arranged a fiesta. Please forgive us. Oh, I forgive you, senor Barstow. And now, now you will look after the senorita's horse. Yes? No? Hmm?
I can't stay here and argue with you all day. No, no. It is too much. You rob us. It's the law, and I've got to enforce it. Either we take the cattle or more land. Taxes must be paid. Uh, taxes, law. Who make these laws that take everything from the Californianos? Not the American government. The Senor Barsto. He makes these laws that are no laws. Peace, Banjo. What is it now, Sheriff Stanton? I've got orders to collect what's due, that's all. Ah, orders. Take what he's wanted. We can do nothing. How will you pay it? Take the cattle. I will give up no more of the land. What remains is for my son, Ramon. Americanos. This Senor Barstow. How can he do these things to us? Senor Barstow is a strong man with the power to use others. Sheriff Stanton, what does his bidding? To resist is useless. Now the cattle. What will become of us? And Ramon. What of Ramon? Ah, well, if need be, we can sell more land. Ramon. Always Ramon. You beggar yourself for the sake of Ramon. What the Americanos do not take must be sold so that he may have more gold to throw away in Spain. You cannot know Pancho Mio. A Spanish gentleman must have gold to throw away, especially when he is young. I do not know which has helped most to your ruin, Ramon your son or Barstow your enemy. will pay you. Padre. The moon? Padre mio. <laughs> My son. <laughs> Ramon! Pancho! Ramon! <laughs> Pancho, bring some, some beef, some wine and music, huh? Send messengers for all our friends. Beef? Do you wish to make barbecue? Of course. Only first pay off the coachman. I have not a single peso left. <laughs> Padre, it is well that I return home, huh? <laughs> Ramon, not a peso? Not a single peso. But for you, Padre, I have ten suits of clothes in the latest Spanish style. Ramon, tell me, did you not return rich? Return rich? But no, I am rich here. Lands, cattle, everything uh, that... <laughs> the Spanish gentleman returns. Pancho. Tell me, what has happened? Sit down, my son. We are robbed, plundered. Crops, cattle, land, all are taken to pay the taxes of the Americanos. And so they have laid waste the great ranchos, reduced the haciendaros to poverty. Today there is nothing left of the hacienda Los Feliz but this house and a little land. No cattle, no horses. All have been taken. Still, Ramon must have gold to throw away in Spancho. Servants go to the mines of the Americanos. Thieves break in and steal. There have been many thieves, Ramon, but the greatest thief is... Pancho! Must... You forget yourself. Speak on, Pancho. I have finished. You say Senor Basto is the leader of these Americano adventurers? Yes. But how does that concern a Spanish gentleman? 
a fashion plate, a spender of gold. Such matters concern only a Californiano. How far is the knife from the spot it struck the last time you saw me throw it? By the width of one small fingertip. No more, the reward. I so much have I forgotten the ways of the Californiano. Viva! Viva Ramon! El Californiano! The said tax is being delinquent. The said sheriff in and for the said district is hereby commanded to seize and declare forfeit the dwelling, land and chattels of the aforesaid Juan Mendoza. In other words, Vamos. Si, sí, senor. Where's the rest of it? That don't cover what you owe. I do not have more grain, senores. Don't lie to us. But, senores, my horses work so hard every day. They must have a little grain. All right, keep the grain. We'll take the horses. Senores, mis caballos es todo. But, senores, our taxes, we have paid them. There's been another assessment. Yeah, for, uh, for a new road. Yeah, he got the Escobar cattle money. Every cent of it. Near 10,000 it was. Why, you... We couldn't help but try it honest. How did it happen? Well, me and Tom had got the money and was coming through the pass and the... He was hiding behind a rock. And when we passed, he roped. Roped you? Yeah, both at once. Jerked us right out of the saddles, he did. And then he took the gold and went on. How about your guns? You had four guns between you. Well, he took them while we were still dizzy. What did he look like? Well, he was dressed Spanish-like and was wearing a black mask. I think he was a Californiano. He was riding a black horse with a silver-mounted saddle. Did you hear him talk? Well, while we were sitting on the ground and he was taking our guns, he says... Says he, I hope you gentlemen haven't sprained anything. Californiano. So I said to him, no, <laughs> that was my wife. <laughs> well, I hope you will forgive me for being so late. Ramon, he is not usually late for dinner. Your business must have been most urgent. More than you know, Father. Rosalia, you are beautiful today. Only today, Ramon. <laughs> <laughs> That's the horse, all right. I'd stake my life on it. Does he not look gay in the latest styles from Spain? <laughs> Padre, I make you uncomfortable, but oh, so elegant. <laughs> Who does that black horse belong to? It is mine, gentlemen. Why do you ask? Maybe you don't remember these men, Californiano. I do not wish to be impolite, but I... Uh... They were robbed of $10,000 this morning. Ah, so. Extraordinary. But you gentlemen conceal your wealth very well. It was my money, the proceeds of a cattle sale. It was stolen by a Californiano. So. This is a great crime for a cat to steal its kitten away from the dog, huh? They've already identified your horse. They're positive you're the man who lassoed him. <laughs> Lasso? <laughs> Lasso. I am afraid that you gentlemen overestimate my courage. It would be much wiser to use a pistola. Yes? No? You might use a lasso if you couldn't shoot straight. But I use the pistola very well. 
You do? See. Do you mind showing us if he can use a gun? Uh, I would be most happy. <gasps> oh! Gentlemen. No, no, senor. <laughs> the pistola. The pistola. <laughs> You see that lamp over there? Yes, senors. It was I who relieved you of the money. The money that you received from the sale of my father's cattle. Now, adios, Padre mio. I do not think that they will catch him, Rosalie. Come on, my son. I have some business in town. I will meet you as the moon sets at the entrance of the Cauldron del Diablo. Cauldron del Diablo? Si. But that is the stronghold of Ruiz, the bandido. Yes, I know. Ramon, Ramon, why must you do this? You will be a fugitive. It is the way of the Californiano. I must go. Until I return. Ramon. Come on, Pablo. Don Ramon, you have come. We walk from here. It's all right, muchachos. Carlos, just let him pass.
Who are these men? They are friends, mi Capitan Ruiz. Don Ramon Escobar and Pancho from Hacienda Los Files. What do you do here? We are haunted by the law and we have come to join you. Pardon. Pancho makes a mistake. I do not come to join you, but I invite you to join me. Join you? Yes. Ah! What have you to offer? Men? Horses? I see only very few horses here and very few men. I am told you are bandits. Yes? Tell me, what do you raid? Hen houses? Ah, oh, senor, you come very near the truth. We do not even capture hens. Look, we are half starved. <laughs> and my coming here is most fortunate. My proposal should fall on willing ears. Your talk is smooth, amigo. Too smooth. It might talk you into your grave. Senor, it is evident that you need a leader. I am leader here. Very well. Pancho, we go. It might be wise to listen to his plan, no? Bah! Have you no sense? He's a clever man and haciendado. He can bring us much advantage. Maybe so. Alto! Speak up, then. What would you do? First, I could lead you to much gold. Gold? Say. Si. What gold? From the mines of the Arroyo del Oro. This gold was discovered by the Californianos. And now, Senor Basto, the Americano, has taken all these claims for himself. Senor Basto. Ha! <laughs> As though we could get his gold. Do you know that when they bring it down from the mines, it is guarded by many armed men? <laughs> yes, I know that. Then how are we going to get it with only a few men? You forget that I shall lead you. What can you lose? Bueno, we'll go with you. Drop your guns! You will leave the gold, please. It's no use. We ain't got a chance against that many. Pancho, there are 12. Take this gold and divide it into 13 portions. You leave a sack with each former owner of a claim. The remaining sack we keep for ourselves. I say no. All belongs to us. You and I take half and half to the man. Silencio. This for the captain to command, Senor Ruiz. What do you say? Should the gold be divided? Hey! 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 Divide the gold. Hey! 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 Californianos, we are bandits, yes. But are we common thieves? No. Fight only to fill our own pockets or to defeat those who have robbed us. I have promised you gold, yes. And the share you will receive is more than you have seen under the leadership of Ruiz. Yes? While I lead, I command. A share of everything we take will go back to the Californianos. Now, do you choose to remain and share the spoils or do you wish to follow Ruiz? Who will lead you to capture more goats and chickens. <laughs> Viva el Capitán Nuevo! Viva Ramón el Californiano!
robbed this office. Stolen my gold shipments. He's driven off horses and cattle. Stanton, you're the law around here. Do something. I'm doing all I can. I've raised posse after posse, but he always escapes. Besides, you don't have the people to want him captured. Ah. Mr. Barstow. What? If I might make a suggestion, I... You look after your tax collector. Must be some way to get him. Well, if it were me, I'd offer a reward. That's it. Stanton, post a reward. Five thousand dollars. For Escobar. I seem to be of much value to someone, eh, Pancho? Mm, see? <laughs> $5,000. Come, Padres. Today we raid the Borden Rancho. I'll meet you at the foot of the hill in three hours. Pronto. Uh, Don Ramon, you're not going with us? First, I have a little something to do. Don Ramon, you are the perfect leader. Just a moment, my friend. Well, uh, very beautiful and uh, valuable horse you have, senor. <laughs> he is one of my favorites. Hmm, uh, then you have others? Oh, I have many at my disposal. Hmm, as many as 50? At least 200. 200? Hmm, <laughs> and you're... Houses, lands, and goods, uh, you no doubt have a great deal of property. I have hundreds of acres. Hundreds of acres? Thousands of tons of grain in each barn. Uh, just a minute, please. Not so fast. Uh, in each barn, thousands. Yes? I am the owner of many beef cattle, sheep, beef cattle? and I have thousands sheep? of pesos and cash <laughs> at my disposal. <laughs> now, I have you, my friend. I am the tax collector. No. Yes. Ah, you are a very clever Americano. Thank you. Uh, and uh, now your name, please. Ramon Escobar. You? Si. Ramon Escobar. Si, senor. Oh, I am Ramon Escobar. Oh! <laughs> And he's all alone. There's a big reward for him. Ah, uh, but I claim the reward. Then you'd better take him alone. Uh, I'm an officer of the law, and I demand that you come with me. Come, handsome one. Like a little king you strut about. Brave. Free. Fierce. A beautiful speech. Ramon. Tell me, how is father? Oh, he's very proud. And he seems years younger. If he knew where you were, he would join you. That's why I kept from him. When I finish my work, I will again return to him. Father has learned that a marshal of the American government has been sent from San Francisco. The Senor Bosto, they should hunt, not me. But Ramon... Do not fear, Rosalia. Raise your hands! <laughs> You're under arrest, Escobar. And I claim the reward. Five 
thousand dollars. <laughs> Five thousand dollars? Senor, tomorrow it'll be much more. Eh? Huh? Oh. 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 Well, be careful. What are you going to do with me? <laughs> oh, don't shoot, boys. Oh, careful now. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Oh. You pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> Mark you. Touch nothing belonging to the pound. Andre! Why did you shoot that pay on? He did not stop. I will deal with you later. Let us get on with the raid. The raid on the Boylan Rancho has brought us much goods and crippled our enemy. You have done well. You, Reese, have brought shame upon us by your stupid and cowardly murder of that peon. Such a man has no place with us. Compadres! If we fight among ourselves, our strength is weakened. This is a matter between Ruiz and myself. Let's settle it then. What do you prefer? La Riata. Take care, Don Ramon. In all the world, there is no man more deadly with La Riata than Ruiz. <laughs> then we shall have to change that. Eh, hey, Pancho? Yes, eh? <laughs> Remember, Ramon! Caballo! Pana! Pana! Ramon, you were magnificent. I will stay here with you. No. You belong with Ruiz. You will go with him, please. We are now but few men. It is better so. Now we are much stronger. If I could get this Escobar, it would give me much pleasure. Then why do you not mix your pleasure with business? What do you mean? To capture Escobar would make you very happy. Mm-hmm. 
to collect $5,000 would be good business. $5,000. Barstow would gladly pay more. We must capture him. But how? With honey. What do you mean with honey? Leave that to me. What do you want? I have a message for the Senor Barstow. He's too busy to talk to you now. Tell him I bring news of Escobar. Mm -hmm. yes. Mr. Barstow. Mr. Barstow. Yes? Come here. I have a message for Senor Barstow. About Escobar. Alone. Come back later, Trigg. He's all right. Who are you? I'm the wife of Ruiz, the bandito. Well? He has broken with Escobar. How does that concern me? You offer a reward of $5,000. So? Ruiz has a plan. It should benefit all of us. Come to the point, senora. For $10,000, you may have Don Ramon Escobar. You know where he is? Si, senor. Where? For ten thousand dollar. All right. What's your plan? Senorita, someone to see you. I bring a message. From whom is your message? From one called Ramon. Ramon? Has something happened? Si, senorita. He needs your help. Well, where is he? I have come to guide you. Oh, wait, only a moment. Ah, Senorita Miller, as Don Ramon would say, welcome to Black Mesa. But where is Don Ramon? He will be here soon. Why did you bring me here? We have planned a little reunion. With your help. If you could have seen this corner of the world before these adventurers came into it, Mr. Morse, you would not wholly condemn Escobar. What you told me is no doubt true, Mr. Miller. But I'm a United States Marshal. The American government is doing what it can to cure these abuses. But this Barstow has been clever enough to make his acts appear legal. And it's difficult to get evidence against him. Now, if you could persuade Escobar to give himself up, I can assure him a fair trial. While these men are still in control, Mr. Morse, you do not know Ramon Escobar. <laughs> En la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo, de contrabando En la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando ¿Qué cosa? Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo, de contrabando A ver. ¡Ay, ay, ay, ay! ¡Cantando llores! Porque cantando se alegran cielito lindo los corazones. Ay, 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 cantando llores. Porque cantando se alegran cielito lindo los corazones. Pájaro que abandona cielito lindo su primer nido. Eso, vuelve lo haya ocupado. Yo 
que cantando se alegran cielito lindo logras A message. Rosalia. Ruiz. Senorita Miller's in the hands of Ruiz. Maybe a trap. It may be true, Pancho. The Black Mesa. On the line. A los caballos. Pronto. wishes to make exchange for the Senorita Miller. You are to disband your man and come with me, alone and unarmed. Ramon! I will go. Pancho, deliver these to the United States Marshal, do you understand? Si, si. You take the men and go back. For Ramon! You will go back with the men and make no attempt to rescue me, do you understand? For Ramon! Do as I say. Adios, amigo. Adios, chiquito. Welcome, Escobar. Senorita Miller, where is she? She is here. Bring her in. Rosalia. Ramon. You were right, senor. You will bring me much gold. What do you mean? You'll find out. You will return the Senorita Miller at once. Ha, 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 ha. And now I give the orders. Tie them up. Oh, you have come quickly. Where's Escobar? First, there is a little matter of a reward. How do we know you've got him? We've got him all right. Let's see him. Follow me. We should not leave Don Ramon. But he is our leader, and we must obey him. But he no longer is our leader, and we do not have to obey him. Pablo is right. Si. Shall we return? Si. Si. si, and you shall lead us. Si, Pancho, luego, Capello. Ándale, hombre. This is a great pleasure, Escobar. Up to now, senor, I have given you very little pleasure. No? Escobar, give me my papers. What papers? The ones you stole from my office. 
I would like to accommodate you, senor, but... Uh, but what? Pancho, he... What about Pancho? Right now, he is delivering them to the authorities. Now, do I get my reward? Trick. Give him his reward. Come on. Place your men and get this poncho. in like this, so. Hey, Pancha, didn't Don Ramon help you? Well, yes, he was there too. How long will they keep Barstow in jail? The United States Marshal said maybe as long as he lives. You mean for a hundred years? Yeah, maybe longer than that. I hope the Marshal makes Don Ramon the new sheriff. Aw, oh, Don Ramon doesn't want to be the sheriff when he's just going to get married. In the documents Escobar took from Barstow's strong box, there's enough evidence to send both men to the federal prison. And the marshal tells me that honest men are on their way from San Francisco to replace them. But I have failed in one thing. I did not capture Escobar. But I believe he is in safe hands. Is it not time that you took charge of La Fiesta, Padre? Eh, Senor Miller? Yes, 